In this problem, we're told a horizontal force of 150 newtons is used to push a 40 kilogram packing crate a distance of 6 meters on a rough horizontal surface. If the crate moves at a constant speed, find A, the work done by the 150 newton force, and B, the coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the surface. So we're solving for two different things here, but let's just go ahead and draw what's going on. So, right, we have this one crate, right, and so the mass of this crate is going to be equal to 40 kilograms, right, so there's going to be some force pushing it this way, right, and it's going to travel 6 meters until it ends up here, right, and so that's basically what's going on, and so let's go ahead and just start with A. So what is A asking us for? We're trying to find the work done by this 150 newton force. So the formula for work, work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta. So right here, this is the formula we're going to use, right? And so they're telling us done by the 150 newton force, right? So the force that's pushing it this way. So we already know the force, right? So the force is just 150 newtons. They're telling us that, right? So that's the force. Uh, the distance in this case, right? What's the distance? So we're moving it six meters, right? The D is just distance, so how far we move it. And so it's moving a distance of six meters, meaning the D in this case is just six, right? And then what about theta? So theta is the angle between the direction it travels and the direction of the force. So if we draw, right? So imagine this is our crate, uh, crate, right? And so the force in this case is being, right? Let me draw a line through it like this. So the force is being applied this way, right? Because it's, it's pushing it that way. So you can write it right here if you want, but essentially it's just going in this direction, the force, right? And then what about, uh, what's it called? What about the direction it's traveling, right? So the force is going in this way and it's also traveling in the same direction, right? So the force is going this way and the direction it's traveling is also the same, right? And so theta is the direction between the force uh, or the angle between the force and the way it's going, right? So in this case, the angle between the two are going to be zero, right? Because they're going in the exact same direction. They're right on top of each other, right? And so the angle between a, a line that are on top of each other is just zero, right? So meaning it's just going to be the cosine of zero, right? And you know the cosine of zero is just one. So really the work is just going to be 150 times six, right? And so 150 times six is just going to be 900. So the work done by uh, this horizontal force, right? is just going to be equal to 900. And then the units are joules, right? So work equals 900 joules, right? Just denote that by J. So this right here is your answer to A. Uh, let's move on to B now. So B is asking us for uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the surface. So we're trying to find the coefficient of kinetic friction uh, which we denote by like mu sub k, right? So we're trying to solve for this. How do we do it? Right, so this formula you should know which relates friction, uh, mu sub k, and then the normal force, right? So the force of friction is just equal to mu sub k times f sub n, right? So what we're trying to do is solve for mu sub k, right? The coefficient of kinetic friction. And so if we want to solve this, right, we need to know the normal force and we know we need to know the frictional force. So the thing about this problem is they tell us that the crate is going to move at a constant speed. And what does that mean exactly? That basically means right, this force right here has to be equal to the coefficient of, or the frictional force, right, because these two forces have to be equal if it's going to move at a constant speed, okay, so that's essentially uh, the way we're going to solve this problem, right, so we know the frictional force, it's just going to be equal to 150, right, and what about F sub n, so the normal force, right, is just the force that's going to be pushing up from the ground, right, and so we know normal force, right, it's just going to be exerting mg, right, and then according to Newton's third law of motion, right, it's going to have a a, a force acting on it, right? The normal force, right? Pushing back on it because for every force, right? Or there's for every action, there's an opposite or equal reaction, right? So there's some force going upwards, F sub n, right? So we know the normal force is just going to be equal to mg, right? So F sub n is just equal to mg. So if we go ahead and solve this, right? Mu sub k is just going to be the force of friction divided by F sub n, which is just mg. So mu sub k is equal to the force of friction, which we already know is 150 newtons, and then you want to go ahead and divide that by um, the normal force, which is mg, right? So mg, the mass of this crate is 40, multiplied by g, which is just the gravitational constant, which is 9.8, right? So 150, you want to do that times, or 150 divided by 40 times 9.8. And when you do this, you're going to get about 383. And then the thing about this is um, the coefficient, right? Coefficient of kinetic friction, or if it was static, right? They don't really have a unit. So it's just a number, right? So 0.383. That's just going to be your answer to B, right? So this right here is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the surface, or your answer to B, and then 900 joule, uh, joules was your answer to A. But yeah, so hopefully you found this useful.